Hola amigos, Jim and Mike here from Spanish Tango, your resource for learning real world travel Spanish. And today we're in Mexico City. Yeah, and it's Sunday, which is a very special day here in Mexico City because they close down a lot of the roads here and they free them up to runners and bikers, any sort of pedestrians or peatones. Yeah, so we really wanted to check it out. We downloaded an app last night and we were looking and looking for bikes around. Yeah, we've walked at least four blocks so far, but we finally found some over here. So we're going to see if the app works and uh, see if we can ride around a little bit. Yay! So this is the app we're using. It's called MoBike. Uh, as you can see, we're right here and it's telling us that there's three bicycles right here, which we see them. So we're gonna take two of them and we're going to Chapultepec. Okay, so it took just a second for the bikes to show up here on my app. It says unlock. Mobike would like to access your camera and then we go here. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> like magic. All right, now your turn. This block here. Okay, it's looking for the code, which is right. Yay! Ah, oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> Vamos? Yeah, let's let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? It's so cool, but I don't know where we're going. <laughs> I'm a little confused because no one's going this way. Yeah. Everyone's coming at us. So really, they just cut off the streets to cars, but you could bike. Run. Rollerblade. Rollerblade. Skateboard. Uh -huh. Skateboard. Segway, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Viene gente. Vamos a preguntar. No. Buen día. De aquí sí vamos para Chapultepec, ¿verdad? Por ese por donde viene la persona con silla. Okay. Muy bien. Gracias. Gracias. So I don't know if you heard, but the lady over there said, pegados a la banqueta porque van en sentido contrario. Which means? Stick to the curb because we're going against the traffic. As we saw before, everybody else is coming at us. And I guess we're like the only ones practically going in the opposite direction, which seems to be okay, but we just have to be careful. Pegados. Perfect day, right? It is. It's very comfortable. Yeah, Mexico City doesn't really get all that hot. It's kind of a moderate temperature year round, although it gets Quite cold in the winter. Ah, y aquí no sé para dónde vamos. Hay que preguntar. Todos van para allá. Hay que seguirlos. <laughs> alto, por favor. She said, alto, por favor, right when I was passing him. <laughs> I decided to ignore it. <laughs> they don't look like traffic cops. This guy looks like one, but she doesn't. He say, monitor viral. Vial. Vial. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, like street monitor. We're stopping. Vamos bien? I don't know. Ah. Okay, we're definitely not the only ones going this direction anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I 
Here's a fun fact. When Maya and I first met, she had just learned how to ride a bike for the first time in her life. And then I got a bicycle in Rochester and I learned all kinds of things, changing tires, fixing them. How to ride on the road with other people. It's how to use your hand signals, because here in Mexico, that's not very common. No, I, I haven't seen anyone using their hand signals yet. Llevamos 25, 25 minutos. Debemos encontrar ya otras, otras dos. Just para mantener los ojos abiertos, we have to keep our eyes open. Yeah, it looks like the app said that we can have a bike for 30 minutes at a time. Then you have to find another one. Disculpe, para, para el parque de Chapultepec es para allá? Muy bien, gracias. Mira, mira, ahí hay. Pero no sé si las están agarrando o las están dejando. So we're still trying to figure out how this works. We bought the monthly pass, which is 99 pesos each, but I read that that includes trips of 30 minutes and then it seems like anything beyond that is extra. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try leaving the bikes here and seeing if we can get them again for another 30 minutes. See if it works. <laughs> Mine is not even showing me anything, so I don't know. Let's see. It says can't lock. Porque primero lo tienes que bloquear tú con la mano o qué onda? It says after submitting, your account will be frozen temporarily. I don't know if we should do it. What happens if we can't keep going? It says we're supposed to take a picture of the bike and then our accounts will be temporarily frozen, but we got to get to the park. So I think we should just go for it and then we'll let you know whatever the extra charges are. All right, let's go. El Ángel de la Independencia. Do you know whose remains are there? Miguel Hidalgo. Uh, who else? I don't know. <laughs> That's at least one. He's the most important one, really. Queda lejos todavía? I have no idea. <laughs> Ni sé. So along the, the streets that are closed, there's different stops. Like there's a zona ludica right there where families with children can stop and play games. They have different stations. Like if something's going on with your bicycle, they can help check it for you. And it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can check quick the map. We've been to El Angel de La Independencia. Okay, I think we're going the opposite direction. Seriously? Hola. Una pregunta. Vamos mal para Chapultepec, verdad? Sí, es para el lado. So, podemos solo incorporarnos aquí, gracias. Ay, ay, ay. What happened, Mai? We were going the wrong way. I was looking at the signs and. They all kept saying Centro Histórico, Centro Histórico, and I was like, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> I didn't see any Chapultepec ones, but let's see. I'm gonna have to check my map again.
That was like a half hour detour. I know, I was just following the people. Now we're going the right way, right? I hope so. That way, but right. It's looking greener. <laughs> you look new at this. I am a little bit. It's been a while. <laughs> well, I think we made it. Yeah, this looks like how I would imagine Chapultepec Park to look. It's green. Very green. The air smells cleaner, doesn't it? Yeah, there's like a pine scent here, mm -hmm. which is really nice. It's time to return this. Yeah. What do we do? Uh, so I open up the app. Wait, it says do not lock bike in gray zones. Please ride in the blue area. Oh, this is gray zone, acá, right? So they don't want it here. They want it here? Maybe, let's go back. Yeah, it's not too far. I think it's just like over there, so. Okay, we're gonna see if we can leave them here. Well, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> we have parked our bikes. And now we're in a park. What park? Chapultepec. Bosque de Chapultepec, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know the meaning of the name? I think I do. Yeah, well, <laughs> Chapuli in Nahuatl means Chapulin or Saltamontes, which is a grasshopper. And Tepetl is Cerro, a hill. So it's Grasshopper Hill. Yeah, isn't that awesome? <laughs> yeah, that, that is a pretty awesome name. I don't think a lot of people know that. I said I knew, but I didn't know prior to like, you know. Planning this video? Yeah, like yeah. 30 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> and there must be a lot of um, grasshoppers here then. Or maybe there used to be. There used to be maybe, yeah. We're gonna have to keep our eyes open, but this place is huge. This is our first time here, so I have no idea. Um, really, I've only seen it on a map. And there's fountains, there's lakes, there's a zoo, there's gardens, there's a library, so many things, museums here in one park. It's actually bigger than Central Park in New York. 678 hectares, and that's about 1,675 acres. Massive. Yes. So right now we are, we're gonna walk to El Castillo de Chapultepec, which is the most iconic building here in the park. This castle was built, well, they started construction in 1778 and they finished it 10 years later. Wow. And then in 1944, it was inaugurado as a history a museum, El Museo Nacional de Historia. It was built for royalty. It was the house of Emperador Maximiliano I. And then some Mexican presidents lived there, uh, but right now it's just a museum. So I'm excited to see it. Yeah. There's a lot going on here. Muchos puestos. Puestos de todo. Everything, hats, shirts, pictures, toys, food, drinks. Tatuajes temporales. <laughs> yeah, all kinds of things for children. This is a place, like, especially on Sundays, families come here just to walk around and eat. So let's go explore. Wow. I like how all the sellers in Mexico have their own song. They might not think of it as a song, but they say the same thing over and over again, and there's usually a rhythm and tonality to it that stays consistent. Yeah. Some of them sound actually nice. Yeah. Like, I don't know what they're selling, but I kind of want to buy it. <laughs> but some of them sound like they're mad. Yeah. Like the lady selling uh, mango outside. 
She was yelling, but I don't remember how, but it sounded like she was angry. <laughs> she did sound upset. How can you be upset when you're selling mangoes? So El Castillo de Chapultepec, the museum is free on Sundays for Mexicans and for foreigners who are residents in Mexico. So that's one of the main reasons why it's so crowded to here on a Sunday. Let's go see. Mala onda, ¿verdad? Sí. No te creyeron que eras mexicano. No me creyó. <laughs> Gracias. Buen día. So they took our selfie stick. No bastones. Mm -hmm. A baston can also be like uh, for sí. elderly uh, people, right? Walking, walking stick? Stick, yes. Do you think they would take a baston from an elderly person? I don't think so. I hope not. So couldn't convince them that I'm Mexican. 75 pesos. But now we're here. At least they didn't take the camera. We can show you around. Yeah, vamos a ver. Cabina normal, cabina normal. Esa parte vamos a usar. Sí. <laughs> So one interesting fact about this place is that in 1847, for one day, U.S. troops came here, bombarded the area, and flew their flag right here. El Castillo de Chapultepec was not um, occupied during the Mexico's independence movement. So a few years after, um, this became a military school, Colegio Militar. So there was the war between Mexico and the states going on, and after the U.S. took over this part, they told us it was like facts, but now more people say it's uh, a myth that teachers or books like to tell, where a group of six of these students of the military um, academy were in this battle and they tried to protect the Mexican flag and the states was like bombarding and they were gonna destroy the flag. and. So they say that one of the Niños Héroes, that's the name um, this group of six students was given, one of them took the flag and decided to cover it with his body and then jumped from somewhere here. Some other people say that they were running behind them, they were trying to kill the kids or the students, I don't know how old they were. So he was gonna fall and instead of falling, he held on to the flag and of course the flag couldn't uh, support, uh, support his, his weight. So he fell with the flag and so people were like, oh my God, he died trying to protect the Mexican flag from being, I don't know, destroyed or something. Uh, so no, he definitely died defending the honor of the flag. I think that's what yes. he's going for. Yeah. This place was always like, I don't know, it's cool to be here after so many years of like history or like Mexican history in elementary school, high school, and finally being here, it's like, wow. And it's so crowded. I don't, I don't think we made the best uh, decision coming here on a Sunday. Yeah, we did. You got in for free. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, me too. Ah, it's starting to rain. Ah, vamos a donde? I should get some food. Okay. Right? Find shelter. <laughs> I'm good with food and shelter. Sí, vamos. <laughs> 
Todavía hay un chorro de gente entrando. Un montón, sí. Yo creo es por la lluvia. <laughs> well, I had a lot of fun riding the bikes on the streets today. How about you? Yeah, it was really fun. Uh, we ended up having to pay a little bit extra, so we're paying 30 pesos each more. Yes. Yes. But we can still have free 30 minute rides for the yeah. next month. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're not going to be here that long, but. Yes. <laughs> But you're welcome to join us sometime because we're going to be announcing a retreat here. Yeah. So we'll leave a link to that in the description if you're interested. So we have to stop this. It's raining. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel and Spanish tips. And remember, el camino es el destino. The journey is the destination. Nos vemos pronto. Adios.